prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord. Today, God became man in the womb of Mary. Today, we celebrate the beginning of our salvation. So that we may be less unworthy to partake of this Holy Eucharist, let us now humbly acknowledge our many sins, let us beg God's forgiveness, and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, you we, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. 
with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who will that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant we pray that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the nether world or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wished not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocaust or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips as you, O Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but the body you prepared for me in holocaust and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, Sacrifice and offerings, holocaust and sin offerings you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please all stand. Sinabi
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? The angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, there are two names according to our readings today by which the child born of a virgin is to be called. In our first reading, the Lord said that the virgin shall be with child and will bear a son, and this son will be called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Son of God is God with us. That is the reason why God became man, to make us experience, to make us feel the nearness of God. God became man to be Emmanuel, to tell us that He is not distant, He is not far above, he is here with us. He is God with us. Sa pagkakatawang tao ni Jesus, ipinakita at pinatunayan sa atin ng Diyos na siya ay hindi malayo, na siya ay napakalapit. Hindi siya tumatanaw lamang sa atin, siya ay kasakasama natin. God is Emmanuel, the God with us. In our gospel, the angel Gabriel, when he announced to Mary that she has been chosen by God to be the mother of the Savior, also mentioned the name 
by which the child is to be called. The angel Gabriel said, You will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. The name Jesus means God saves. And so, by giving this name, we are being told that the God who is Emmanuel is also Jesus, the God who saves. The God who is with us is also a God who is for us. Ang Diyos na kasama natin ay Diyos na para sa atin dahil siya ang magliligtas sa atin. And this is the reason for our solemnity today. We celebrate the Annunciation of the Lord. We celebrate that moment when Jesus began to become man in the womb of Mary. We celebrate today the beginning of the mystery of the incarnation of God. Because God became man not only at Bethlehem on Christmas Day. Hindi naman nagsimulang maging tao ang Diyos nung isinilang siya ni Maria. Life begins at conception. And so at the very moment when Mary accepted the invitation of God to be the mother of the Messiah, at that very moment when Mary said, I am the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word, the second person of the Trinity became man in the womb of Jesus. And the reason for that is precisely to become Emmanuel and Jesus, to be the God with us and the God for us, to save us. Yan ang dahilan kung bakit nagkatawang tao ang Diyos. Para siya ay maging Diyos na kasama natin at Diyos para sa atin. These two, my dear brothers and sisters, are important. They go together because there are those who are with you but are not for you. There are those who are with you but are for themselves, not for you. May mga kasama tayo, kapiling natin, katabi natin, pero hindi naman para sa atin. May mga para sa atin, lumalapit sa atin, pero para lamang sa kanilang sarili. May mga kasama natin, katabi natin, malapit sa atin, lumalapit sa atin, inaabot tayo, pero hindi naman magliligtas sa atin, lalapit sa iyo para iligtas ang sarili nila. They are for with you, but they are not for you. They are for themselves. They are with you, but they will not save you. They will be with you because they will use you to save themselves. And there are also those who are for you but are not with you. May mga nagsasabing ako'y para sa'yo pero hindi naman, hindi mo naman kasama, hindi naman malapit sa iyo. There are those who will promise you that I will always be there for you. 
But at the moment that you need them, they are not there. They are busy. They have many excuses. Sasabihin nila ako'y para sa iyo. Iniaalay ko ang aking sarili sa iyo. Pero ang layo-layo naman sa iyo. Ni hindi mo maabot, ni hindi ka mapansin, ni hindi ka mabigyan ng panahon, ni hindi ka masamahan sa oras na kailangan mo. They are for you, but they are not with you. God became man to be both Emmanuel and Jesus, to be God with us and God for us. God became man, according to our second reading today, in obedience to the will of God, so that by being with us and by being for us, we may be saved. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the reason why we are celebrating this solemnity today. God became man so that He may be with you and always for you. But the question is, if God is with us, are we with Him? If God is for us, are we always for Him? Please all stand. We shall now profess our faith after saying the words by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. We will kneel and in some moments of silence meditate on the mystery of God's incarnation. I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth, earth of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. Please kneel. Please stand. For our sake, he was, he was crucified, crucified under, under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was crucified. He, he suffered death and was buried, and, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his, and his kingdom, kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one 
holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Through the faithful obedience of the Blessed Virgin Mary, God takes flesh among us. The mystery of the Incarnation calls us to our loving Father through the Incarnate Son. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be seen as the Incarnation of working body of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That people of goodwill may learn that Christ has united himself with every person in taking our human nature. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That scientists and technologists may work with whole ideals to further human dignity and happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That pregnant mothers may welcome the new life as Mary welcomed her son. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may be forgiven of their sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions and for the people who need our prayers. We continue to implore the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Fatima, and St. John Paul II for peace in Ukraine. We also pray for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Father of the Incarnate Word, we bring our intentions before you, the fabric of our daily lives, made holy by your Son, our brother in the faith, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. 
For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly, she bore him in her immaculate womb that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, up your sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, 
and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from ignorance, from lies, from deception, from sin and every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to this evening's Mass to be presided by our Archbishop, Cardinal Jose Advincula, together with our Apostolic Nuncio, Archbishop Charles Brown, as uh, we join Pope Francis in the act of consecration of Ukraine and Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. The Mass will be at 6 o'clock in the evening. We invite you to join the Mass either by coming to the Manila Cathedral or by joining our live streaming. After the Mass this evening, there will be a candlelight procession with the image of Our Lady of Fatima around Plaza Roma while we pray for the Rosary for the intention of peace in the world, especially between Russia and Ukraine. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the faithful who implore your mercy, that trusting in your kindness, they may spread far and wide the gifts your charity has bestowed through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.